there is benefit to the trees. The Canadian government, in partnership with the City of Winnipeg, have announced a new grant program designed to plant more trees and support the continued growth of urban forests, not just here in Winnipeg, but across the country. Winnipeg received more than $7 million over a three-year period from a new federal grant, which will help plant over 71,000 new trees across the city. We know that trees enhance the beauty of our community. They slow stormwater flow. They prolong the life of infrastructure, clean the air, and they increase property values. But tree canopies across the country, including in Winnipeg, remain vulnerable to damage and disease. Dutch elm disease continues to attack the city's 230,000 American elms, and most recently, the emerald ash boar beetle has been killing healthy trees. Carrie-Anne LaFrance says it's important to revitalize and replant the trees that were lost. Uh, with a combination of seedlings and container and caliper trees, uh, in partnership with community groups and our colleagues at Naturalist Services, we anticipate planting approximately 14,000 trees this year. The federal government has committed to plant 2 billion trees in urban areas throughout the country over a 10-year period. MP Terry Duguid for Winnipeg South says 29 million trees representing 150 species were planted in 500 locations across the country in 2022. By 2026 there will be planting uh, between 250 and 350 million trees a year, a staggering uh, number. The Canadian Forest Service estimates that by 2050, the planned 2 billion trees could reduce emissions by up to 12 megatons of carbon dioxide, which equates to taking more than 2 million gas-powered cars off the road each year. In 2021, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, along with other countries at the COP26 climate summit, agreed to end and reverse deforestation by 2030. Curtis Hull with Climate Change Connection says there are still some areas across the country that are seeing deforestation, but he says Canada's forestry record isn't as bad as some other countries around the world. Southeast Asia, Brazil have had had a history of deforestation to the point where, where the soil is exposed and, and results in a lot of uh, erosion and other detrimental effects. Hull says planting more trees and ending deforestation is great, but is not enough to combat climate change. Focusing on those things, our buildings and how we heat them and our vehicles and how we fuel them and, and replacing those with electricity effectively and efficiently is, is the challenge that we face, the real challenge that we face with climate change. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.